Fixing the Dane County Jail's health and safety concerns. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. Last night, the county board approved nearly half a million dollars to study if construction can meet that conclusion. New at 10, the night team's Matthew Simon toured the jail with the sheriff to see what the specific concerns are. Matthew? Eric Michelle, as Sheriff Dave Mahoney showed us around the entire Dane County Jail, he was passionate about what you're about to see is about fixing a dangerous and inhumane building. This is what we would refer to as a suicide cell. While this solitary confinement. It's closest to the deputies working here where they can watch somebody. Is where Dane County inmates with mental and medical conditions are housed for days, weeks, even months sometimes. Sheriff Dave Mahoney thinks it's simply wrong. It's still improper and borders on inhumane to house somebody here because they have a medical condition. Also concerning Mahoney on the CCB side, a routinely failing locking system. There have been fires or fires in the elevator that have filled this jail with smoke. Even antiquated cell bars, making tying something to it easy. And in the past two months, we've had four suicide attempts. Mahoney is now anxious to see what new ideas a just approved nearly half million dollar county funded study will produce. It's something where we're at the crossroads now that we will either do the right thing or we'll continue doing what we've always done. While the Young, Gifted and Black Coalition is happy to hear ending certain solitary confinement is a goal, members feel the money is really a roundabout way to begin new jail construction. But what we don't want is the solitary confinement to be used as an excuse um, to continue to pump resources into this jail that we know does not fix the issues of violence within our communities. There's very little human interaction. Bob Mahoney insists this is about fixing what right now is putting inmates and staff at great risk. But that's, that's where that medical person is. And I would argue that this is solitary confinement. And those putting this study together will also use suggestions from three community groups who gave their recommendations to the county board as this debate played out. YGB says they will continue to push for the release of 350 nonviolent black prisoners. Eric, been a very big discussion. Matthew, thank you very much.